Masoud Barsani spent much of his career fighting for and leading the Kurdish cause, a mission that ended for him soon after the Kurds voted in favor of succession from Iraq. Barsani was born in a Kurdish region of Iran on the same day as the Kurdish Democratic Party was established on August 16, 1946. He followed his father's footsteps, joining an army struggle for Kurdish autonomy in Iraq at the age of 16, and then taking over the political party in 1979 when his father died. He spent years fighting with the Peshmerga, often battling rival Kurdish forces. But after the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003 and Saddam Hussein's death, he began to work with the Iraqi government. And two years later, he was voted as leader of northern Iraq's Kurdistan's regional government. Since 2014, his Peshmerga forces have helped fight ISIL in Iraq. The Kurdish region remained an area of relative stability and safety for people who had been displaced from other parts of the country. After hinting at it for a while, Barsani called for a Kurdish independence referendum in September 2017. Kurds voted overwhelmingly in favor of it. Great people of Kurdistan, you did not allow anyone to break your will when you voted yes to independence. We entered a new stage and this is a win for all of Kurdistan. Baghdad rejected the referendum, calling it unconstitutional. Again pitting Barsani and his Peshmega against Iraqi government forces. And yet, after more than 40 years pushing for it, Barsani can still claim more Kurdish autonomy and his legacy. Katia Lopez-Sodoyan, Al Jazeera.